Hello. We, we're here for the persona, Hello. and we don't have we, a full bracket, so can get good for y'all. We have a first attend between Kid Cookies versus... Why, am, why is the stream frozen? Uh, I, oh, it's paused. All right, oh, also because I had the uh, Twitch open just to like see what was going on. Yeah, no, we're fine. It's just the video's paused. It's, it's going to have uh, first attend between Kid Cookies and Gohan... Wagner, Wagner White. White. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Wagner White. So uh, we're just prepping up while we wait for this to go on. All right. We have our immaculate, illustrious Persona TO fighting um, a nice, young, new competitor. Uh, look at this one. Kid Younger? Kid, how old are you again? 22. Uh, Wagner White, how old are you? Oh, okay, we're good. Yeah, they're just two tallest fighting, so it's fine. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so whenever y'all ready to go, since we're going to run a first of 10, uh, do your things. Let me uh, screenshot and tweet this out. I've, I've Screenshot? Yeah, I know. Why I is mean, it not working? Listen, we'll ju I'll just tweet this out. It's fine. That's fine. We have none. We have none indeed. I, I, it's too late for us to run up to get Datagram. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. We, we do it live. Fuck it. We'll do it live. All right. Oh wait, do we have stages to worry about like copyright? Oh no. yeah, for songs, not really. That's actually. I'll take your word for it. I mean, if you mod the song, then yeah. Oh, also, uh, Chris, adjust the camera. Look, look at the angle. It's like. Oh yeah. It's dog. Good. Yeah, I'll get it in a second. Yo, actually, you want me to do that? Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, I changed the scene, so we'll see in a second. It's, just, it's fine. We'll figure it out later, since we're going to go into our match right now. All right, so when you two are like ready to go, we'll just reset, okay? Wait, kid, you guys going? No, no it's bunch check. check. Okay, it's still bunch check. All right, sorry about that. Just keep it there, it's fine. No, no, you you, you moved it again. Listen, it's gonna have the moderator no matter what. It's like at this point. Actually, this is a bad. This is not a bad angle. Yeah, I was gonna say it's gonna have the monitor in no matter what. Like, but like, it's better than just having like white and white, just like yeah. swamped. Part of the problem is that you're asking me to do that as the match is about to start. So like, okay, what, I can't like keep it on you as we're going to switch. I mean, we, I thought you were gonna eyeball that. <laughs> oh, we're good. We're good. Also, I forgot like the scenes over here. All right, so um, as mentioned before, it's going to be a first attempt between Wagner White and Kid. Well, this guy looks pretty. I don't remember this. Yeah. Network error. Whatever. Oh, so uh, Wagner White is an Igus player. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of haha funny mix ups after that flight stance. Shall we flail? Kid or um, Wagner? Ten, uh, I, I'll, I'll see Kid do this pressure, and then when Kid like is like worried and like about to be in the corner, just get a super jump and just jump, see the dive kick out full screen. Yeah. I mean, as we can see, I um, Ooh, good there. I guess has a lot of screen control options on top of uh, flight and dash cancels. So in terms of flailing, at least Wider can control the screen. Well, Kid has to get in and then start using some of her, I guess, not I guess, um, Marie's items to actually interact with him. Uh, I know the install like can just turn the momentum, just has the movement and damage. Which look, look at this. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, we actually blocked? I was uh, going to say. <laughs> get this JA of my nightmares out of here. Okay, we uh, fall for the I, fussy block setup. But it should, no, just set up. 
I forgot what the lightning cloud does, so... Lightning cloud is just a projectile that floats in the air. Got it. So if they touch the lightning cloud trying to jump out, they'll get hit by it. So one gift controls the floor, the other gift controls the air. Got it. Okay. As of right now... Oh, uh, oh, this game doesn't have... Oh, uh, it doesn't have, like, air unblockable chains to jail you to an air unblockable 2B? Yeah, I was actually just going to ask. That looked like a really funny air unblock setup, but I guess it doesn't work like that. Arxis learned? They learned in this, but then they think they brought it back in future games, so... Mm -mm. And once again, this is a first to 10 for, I guess, all the marbles, which I'll double-check the actual um, all price of pool. All of $2. Yeah, I know, right? But man, no, you're playing for the what's it called the pride. Yeah, the, the pride, exactly. The <laughs> the respect, the respect of your peers, the ones who didn't want to show up today because it was too high. Well, that means we're the peers. We have respect. Oh man, that's crazy. If, if we're his peers, then I feel bad for him. <laughs> <laughs> fellow Tio, how do you do, fellow Tio? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Do it for the love of the game. Oh, I tried to bait a burst that didn't exist. Uh, speaking of that, both. Oh, uh, right now, yeah, I guess, I believe she has Burst available. I can't no, tell. No, uh, when, when Burst is available, the word Burst will appear. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh -huh. Damage. Just going for the kill. All right. I know, like, the different supers have different things based on her weather and, like, I don't know, like, what's, like, the optimal ender. Uh, supers change properties depending on what weather's currently active. Yes. Because her gimmick is like, her, she has different like weather effects that happen, but I don't know what they do. Okay. It's like, uh, we should have like real people who play Persona, like commentate, but uh, we're talking with us schmucks. Yeah. I'm assuming it, do the different weather buffs like serve different purposes when it comes to like her supers getting changed? Yes, they change what effects of her super, but also like have very slight effects. I think right now you get slight meter gain. Oh, okay. Is snow? No. Yeah, SP up, yeah. So it'd be nothing super extreme like, hey, this is my neutral controlling one. This is my set play one. Nothing it's, it's, it's not Soku. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Because <laughs> when you say weather, <laughs> my brain just goes, how crazy are we getting? All right. I'm plus. Uh, is that Soul Satellite or something? It's basically, you get three homing projectiles that go across the screen. Got it. Oh, dude, you, you, you I think Yeah, I, yeah, I'm like, I'm like I heard oh, your oh, beard oh. scratch the mic. I'm like, oh my god. All I, right. I didn't think that was a thing to worry about. Kid right. takes the first game. Nine more to go? Potentially? Yo. Although these, were, these weren't clean sweeps. These are, these are going back and forth. Yeah. These are actual games. Also, I'm not familiar how much experience Kid has against Igus or how much experience Walter White has against Marie. From, at least from what I, Kid has told me, Marie is not the most popular character or commonly played character, at least in North America, so I'm not sure if the matchup knowledge would be in his advantage. I'm trying to figure out like, what, because I know like it's a 2B, it's supposed to be air unblockable, but probably only like up close, I'm guessing, because it's a projectile that's like the entire screen. Oh, because the normal has Because it's, it's the up bullets. Oh, okay. That's I used oh, to be. I thought you were referring to the Aaron Block situation from last game. Yeah, no, no, no. I was like, when is it Aaron Block? <laughs> it would be crazy. I mean, I feel like that'd be pretty nuts if that screen filling projectile was just air unblockable. Technically, the it's attached to a limited resource because it's the bullets. Yeah, but it's still it's like the entire screen, bro. <laughs> that'd be kind of toxic. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. This I, game I've been told is very toxic. I, I just watched in terms of like what the gameplay can do. Not as like I'm. Pretty I think you're pretty sure with that, like the community. Yeah. All right. Help. So, so these are homing projectiles. Yes. Okay. Did they just like change position based on where the persona was? No, they just like they go across the screen on certain based on like where your character, your opponent's character is. Okay. Okay. Pop. So your opponent can't really run away from like. You could probably because they'll they'll deploy and then they'll like will, will start one star will disappear then they'll go from a screen. You could probably move from that position, but then you, the opponent will see that move. Okay. Oh, he's trying to. Kid is trying to give him advice in mid bracket. That's why he's so toxic to TO. Damn. It's like, damn, bro. Just, just block this. Just punish this option. What do you mean? Like, simply win. Oh, as he's getting cooked. Uh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was going to say Kid has to close distance now, but I guess just gets in that ass, so it doesn't really matter. This is a blender ass character, so. Yeah, I think Necro used to play it, right? Yep. Yeah, I remember watching. I'm very, Netflix, very familiar with Necros. I guess. Uh, leave me alone. You, man, I. 
I feel like I, w- I could ask the question of how was fighting Neku, but I'm like, oh, it's Lem, so I'm not gonna get any information. Oh, out of this. especially in the era before I bothered learning anything. <laughs> It's I've like, done the first of walls against like SKD. SKD. I've done the first of walls against Haven. I've done. I've and, done my time. And you learned nothing because you didn't apply it. <laughs> All right. We, oh, okay. So we do get okay off that. It, it was the point of like, oh, like, what did I learn? I learned I'm not nice. <laughs> True. So yeah, I'm guessing that thundercloud stops him from jumping, and considering Kid is keeping pressure up. Very like front facing pressure. You I can't don't really... know if that version of the cloud paralyzes. Yeah, status effects. Uh, continue. Uh, it stops them from moving. Yeah. You can't do anything besides like evasive action, like roll or short hop. That includes block? You can block. Okay. I said movement, movement. Movement, got it. All right. Man, just hearing the buttons clack going, yo, look at my flight cancels, bro. Just... You're hearing the buttons clack. I'm hearing the boop, boop, boop from the <laughs> timer. <laughs> Oh man, we still have 38 seconds left. So, and Kid has the health advantage and has almost, well, almost had 100. Technically meters. health advantage, but like technically, I guess has more health because guts. Yeah. And at least from what I've seen, none of these uh, characters. Now they're even. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, they're in. This. I don't think this kills. Now nah, he's gonna set up. Was there no like possible meter dump? Oh, the side swap roll. Just the. the how is cross protection in this game? Uh, I don't know. I just know you have to like manually turn around the characters in the air. Yeah, I've seen it in the air, but I also um, hmm. I don't know in terms of like grounded situations how that actually works out. Well, that's your only real way to get cross ups. Well, he did a roll and he did a roll while the projectile was. Active. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I wondering know. if that's like, hey, if you continue not blocking the right direction, will that hit you? Bro, look, look at him giving advice, man. I just want to run the set. Don't give me advice. Don't talk to me. I say he's actually trying to be very helpful with the game right now. No, he would. Kid wants it to be a more even fight so that the bracket time, to like, it messes up the rest of the brackets the rest of the day. He wants to make sure he gets his money's worth for every individual dollar he spent today. <laughs> I right. gotta make up for my Japan Village money. Makes sense. Uh, seeing w- Wagner White looks like he's trying to either contest or jump out of that uh, block string that Kid has done a couple just times. Just like consistent, like, pressure situation that just not work matching out, but just you gotta try. So, Snover, because we only have two people in bracket, we are giving these two, the only people here, a first of ten. We figure we get extra footage for Persona, uh, they get their money's worth, everyone has a good time, you know? Uh, we, we did try to ask for them to commentate their own matches, since they're the only ones here who know how to play the game, but they said no. Also, in all honesty, bro, it's like 92 degrees today, I kind of get it if people don't want to pull up. Okay, so we blocked I thought the- these people like the summer. Hey, I like the summer. Everyone else is like, oh man, I, I hate sweating. I, I love being miserable and cold and can't go outside. Yeah, but Snover, we run um, Persona like every month at Lunar Phase, so we've had better turnout. And what event. the f- what? What? Okay, no. Oh, no, continue. All right. Yeah, if you're in the tri state area, like pull up next month. I mean, not even tri state. We people pull up from like. Well, Philly. Yeah, I mean, yeah. had people pull up from like Japan, Korea, Atlanta, Uruguay. <laughs> Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, far enough, far Atlanta. Uh, as of right now, Kid is ahead uh, two games, but uh, right now Wagner White has the round advantage. I think that's 92, not including humidity, so it might feel higher. Yeah, it's pretty. It's like the beginning of a heat wave here in New York. Uh, Kid dro- le- dropping to confirm for a reset. Maybe he thought um, that'd be a jump cancel point. Oh no, armor. Oh, no follow-up. Is Ike? Oh, yeah, that is the... What is the all-out attack, I believe? All-out attack, you can either blast to the wall. I mean, I can do m bag, yeah. What do we have? What do you have for numbers? No, oh, that could... I can, you want me to start that now? All right, all right. Kid is now a round up. You can... I, I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start really helping... You're on your own, Chris. Got it. My co Tio had to go uh, run and do some work for Melty Blood real quick, so I guess I will continue the commentary. Gunshot point blank. <laughs> All right, kid looks like kind of dropping to confirm. Not really going for a reset. I think it was actually just a drop. Also need to know like what situations are air unblockable options really real? Because there seemed like a couple times where 
one character would catch the other one mid-air, blocking a special or just a normal, but still wouldn't get hit by like an air unblockable state. Kid missing that, I think, with JC, which allows Wagner to burst out. But now, grab, almost in the corner. Wagner misses the chance to take the turn back. Now, Kid has them in the corner, uh, dumping meter, but now they're just reset back to neutral. So Cloud, yeah, I was going to say, jumping in that space is going to be weird because of Cloud, but also you're afraid of the package and of Marie moving forward on you. So I'd say Walter really hasn't, Wagner hasn't tried to contest those jump cancel points Marie's using in her pressure. Not sure if it's a very difficult point to actually contest, or is he not picking up on it like fast enough in this set? That being said, he has many more games to go through to see if he can catch up to Kid. This is a first to 10, so. Kid just taking count of how many wins he has. Okay. No meter, so the pressure should end pretty soon. All right. I guess now as Avenger, Kid using Burst immediately to keep momentum, but kind of retreating back to neutral after setting the uh, package. All right. Will we get any package okay with this, or just going to go for damage? Went for a mix-up, looks like. All right. Wagner White, I believe that's guard canceled there. Has to now work his way back up. Playing aggressively now, considering has to win in neutral. On top of landing enough hits to kill. Ah, uh, yeah. Kid smell. Oh, a force in the drop. All right, here's here begins the long road. Can Wagner White work his way? Oh. All right. Kid has so much room to work with now. Can really vary up his strategy, vary up his approaches. Just to lock down this game. Already three games ahead and on a match point. Or a round point, right? All right, you got the game point technically, but stack the pressure. Yep. Ran out of ways to extend it. Just reset mid screen, summon persona. But Wagner White pursuing, getting his confirm. Mid screen knockdown into a mix-up? I don't know what that option was, but I think he was bursted, so. Uh, doing a lot of jump cancel resets or legitimate drops is kind of hard to tell. Okay, yeah. I guess if Igus has flight cancel as an option there, that she does by default have empty low to supplement her offense. Two clouds and then package, so. Oh, she's in a decent spot, or at least was in a decent spot. Yeah. Kid doesn't have enough meter to really kill with this. Uh, the burst has been baited. All right. The round goes to Wagner White. Wagner White is definitely alive. They're playing their ass off. They're trying really hard to at least lock down one game in his first attempt. See if he can steal some momentum back from Kid, who's already three games up and on the final round for this next, his currently running game. Forcing a drop. Kid going for item instead of uh, damage or corner carry. Barry wanted to just continue his turn, get more benefit from it. Especially, we're also still early in the round. All right. Wagner White was playing a bit more defensively, but decides to switch back to offense, I guess, to get momentum. I'm wondering about the judgment of that, considering he still had a lot of health and a lot of time left. But as of right now, he is might. This might be it. Oh, I feel it's in the drop. All right. Slowly recovering that health, but it's still basically one interaction is death, and that's it. Kid is now up four games.
Yeah, you're talking about uh, rolling certain options and just ways to get out of blocks done. So maybe Wagner can apply some of that knowledge mid-set. on game five well game five for kid hopefully oh no it's well, it is game five overall but like this kid can win this and make it five games deep out of ten but looking at the damage that Wagner White's doing that might be much harder than expected Wagner White landing a couple hits uh, didn't land his reset mix up so instead of decided to retreat but now kid is kind of in there Gets this uh, Cloud Oki, uh, pushes out of the corner, decides to go for his mix-up. Lands the hit, but also gets rejected immediately with Burst. All right. Wagner White, early on, taking around. That hasn't happened too much in this first of 10, or Wagner White specifically wins the first round. Maybe they'll be able to momentum themselves out a win to potentially get their, get just back into this game. All right, kids slightly out of range for uh, 5A. Wagner White might go for a mix-up instead of going for 400 carry. Went for the mix-up, but burst it immediately from kid. Did not want to bother taking that. It must be rough just getting yourself obliterated with like one or two bad interactions. Especially if you're like playing a high execution, a uh, very mix up oriented, like kind of a, a higher investment character. So you get the benefits of playing them, but you still have to very much be on your game. All right. Okay, just tying up that game immediately. So all the momentum's gone. Why are you going to have to go up, do the uphill battle again? Of can he take this round to at least get one game out of this first of five, or first of ten, rather? Knockdown mid screen, probably into some flight Oki setup. Oh, cross up this time. We mainly have seen high lows. Uh, I, I think that might be Marie's DP, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, think Wagner White saved the burst for that second, yeah. Got baited and said, I'm not going to hold this. Blocked the burn spiral, but then got hit by the second one. Yep, kid bursting now. Considering this is the last round, so get decided I'm not even going to bother giving it to you. I will fight for every single win I get here. And it looks like good block. Both players are still... Fighting for that last interaction, and there's one game for Wa Wagner White. Very knockdown, drag out round that was. Is this the adjustment that we need? That one game might be beginning of Wagner White making his comeback. As close of a game that was. Just yelling at them to change stages to mix things up. Haven't really seen Wagner White use uh, full screen zoning too much with Igus. Not sure how strong the character is in that regard. But Kid, it seems though he can only really operate at like mid to close range. Or at least gets the majority of his advantage at mid to close range. So. Yep. Uh. Kid running out of cancel options, decides to reset mid-screen, giving Wagner White uh, the room to kind of use some of her stronger-looking neutral options to capitalize on it. Oh 
Kid opting to use a meter to continue his offense. Takes that round. There's a lot of recovery on that, like, angled gunshot. Controls a lot of space, but if you whiff it, it's pretty rough. Kid has been able to capitalize that, off that in a few interactions, but we'll see if Igus continues relying on it to just control that space, decides to keep whatever health lead they have. Oh, uh, nice. Persona hit. Oh, lands a hit. Doesn't get a confirm. Looks like he definitely wasn't ready for that situation. Game is still very close. Uh, kid off the news meter gets the corner carry, gets big damage. Will probably end in some kind of okay if he didn't get bursted. There's like no saving resources here. I want to make sure to get my name on the board, which makes sense. Uh, double checking, yeah, this is actually last round, so he kind of has to, yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, Ratner White. We're getting on the board more often now. We haven't gotten a lot of blown out games in the last little bit. Our two win rounds, or <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. Kid just dropping his confirm. That wasn't a reset at that time. He just actually dropped the confirm. All right, uh, grab conversion. Now reacting to the dash overhead, it's pretty goddamn quick, to be fair. Uh, kid spend the meter, but wasn't ready for the confirm. Uh, just missed input, but oh, nice burst beat. All right, five and one. It seems like in those very last couple of interactions, we've consistently seen that kid can get the read on uh, Wagner White in his desperation, willing to burst just to try to salvage the round, but. I guess Kid just getting too much of a beat on people. All right. Uh, Kid is right now five wins up compared to Wagner White's one win in this first of ten. All right, so if we've seen it before, yep, we're going to either expect Kid to try jump canceling early during a block string or reset to neutral if he doesn't have the meter to extend his comp con pressure. Stack of pressure opening up Wagner White again. Either trying to contest or jump out. We don't know, but ah, uh, the summon did hit him. Spending the meter, forcing his way out, doing a huge amount of damage. Kind of a weird reset point for um, Kid in that he is off screen, kind of has to both direct himself and cover his landing. But I believe that's her DP does save him this round. Blocking the double overheads, stagger pressure still carrying to mid screen. Kid now has meter to continue some pressure, but to that's conserve it. So that might actually be the round. Oh well, no, not not the round at all. Considering uh, I was looking at the wrong side of the screen, Kid is about to get down. But Wagner White had a lot of health to work with. 
my mistake. Yeah, now this will see what this is where Ryan White might be strongest in this matchup. Just continue controlling space using um, Egg Igus's flight to avoid directly interacting. Hopefully, not throwing out an option that has way too much recovery, so you get clipped on a whiff. But now Ryan White takes his turn, and that is the round to him. It looks like yeah, Wagner White is more content now to generally back off and wait for opportunity to play aggressively versus trying to kind of force his way into Kid's best range of operation. Wagner White having a lot of meter uh, whiffs at the reversal super. Still in the corner, Kid has a lot of health left. No meter, uh, doesn't have burst either, so a good hit is just going to be damage for Wag Wagner White. But now, just he's trying very hard to back off, maybe score one or two straight hits, but just kind of avoid taking good damage and losing this round, which he almost did if Kid didn't drop his confirm. Good bait. Oh, but unfortunately, didn't, didn't actually confirm off that either. I saw the reversal coming, baited it, just didn't get it confirmed, but now he's getting his damage in. Let's go for the high-low. Reversal super doesn't do too much damage, but that is going to be the sixth game to Kid. Wagner White trying to get beat, beats on some of Kid's defensive habits when he's down on life or in a bad situation. Similarly to how Kid was reading the burst at different points. They're discussing match of tech right now in the middle again. Cheaters, bro. They're, they're just cheating right now on stream. It's crazy. Why? Yeah, I was just young. <laughs> Stagger pressure. All right. Right away, starting to identify points where Kid wants to kind of leave open gaps. Yeah, it's starting to fuzzy jump more often, contesting at better times. Kid doing DP to immediately get his momentum back, probably keep Wagner White in the corner, but once again, it getting baited. We're seeing adaptations in real time. Wagner outside of range to actually get, like, real confirmer pressure from the Rockets. Using chain... Uh, gun to just control that entire forward space. Yeah, a bit more content. So yeah, back off. Go. I want you to make a mistake before I go in. Going in now because my uh, kid was in a good range to con get contested. All right. You're gonna get your damage confirmed. No corner swap. Just knock down. For the most part, Kid's still not really getting opened up by the flight cancel overheads too often. He gets hit a couple straight times, but you're bound to get hit a couple straight times when a character has options like that. But he hasn't been getting opened up like consistently. Ah, oh, baited the burst. It is nice seeing Wagner White really sort of consistently recognize when you like to burst, when you like to DP. Playing conservatively at points where the consequences of getting hit are big enough where they might want to just not even want to bother holding pressure. All right, kid does get a confirm off this grab. Not going to be high damage, but he kind of needs anything right now. Uh, lands a hit. Wagner White forced the burst. Uh, kid also closer to getting his burst back by far because he did it much earlier. So even if he landed a hit, it might not have enough time to recover. All right. We had a combo throw. Uh, this conversion might... Not no, oh, it does kill. Wagner White making slight adjustments throughout the rounds, but Kid still having just high damage confirms, being able to recognize opportunities where uh, Wagner White feels very uncomfortable either 
in neutral or on defense. I even though Wagner is adjusting, it's just every time it comes up, Kid tends to have a conversion that really makes the best of it. Although, if Wagner virtually gets clipped, DPs to get out the pressure. All right. Lands a flight cancel hit. We should have a decent chunk combo plus mid screen Oki. Blocks a DP. That is okay. That's apparently an air unblockable DP. Uh, unfortunately, he did not get rewarded for his good guess. Is blocking the mix us, but did not block the side swap roll mix up when the projectile was all active. Uh, kid just like th pulling out layers now. I guess, like, as we've seen throughout this set, oh, that was an interesting, really funny, weird interaction. All right. Yeah, both people really playing it too close to comfort, but I don't know how scaling is after um, RC in this game. Kid is up seven to one right now. All right, they're gonna change the stage right now. I'm just yeah, I yelled at them 14 times to change the stage. I'm just tired of seeing the stage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They might do it for anything. Just not that stage. Make it a good one. Oh, calm down. Don't calm. No, I'm ready. All right, got it. Yeah, it seems like. As of right now, even though Kid is ahead by a good chunk, seven games, compared to um, Wagner White's one, we are seeing Wagner White not get filtered as hard from the basic striker pressure and the points where Kid wants to either try to reset pressure or reset the neutral anywhere near as often. He's blocking it. He's starting to fuzzy jump out more, like consistently. It's more just Kid having to whip out uh, extra funny layers of mix-ups that is catching him, plus just general high damage confirms. Maybe that break might have helped out one of them in like processing how they want to approach the game. We're going into our eighth game. We got a full corner swap. Uh, unfortunate drop, but you're still in the corner and can't really get away from that giant um, gunshot that covers the entire area. Good damage into a flight mix into the corner. Oh, okay. Let's go, Wagner White. High, low, cancel. Okay, blocks the first uh, follow-up, but then gets hit by just a normal hit in a second after that. Rolls out the corner. Now we're going back with the staggers. Projectile install, multiple chances, take his turn back. Kid setting up items to try to lock down and open up. Wagner White, Wagner White DPs, recess <laughs> mid-screen. I don't know if he will actually block that, but it all worked out in the end. All right. We're in the right up around. Oh, it looks like because of roll, uh, certain projectile options are much more dangerous than you'd expect. So most of the time when Wagner White uses projectiles, he's almost entirely full screen. Or except like the uh, angled area ones. All right, fly cancel mix. It, it, Walter White is Walter White. Wagner White introducing throw into that mix more often now. Probably he's seeing higher success rate with it. So instead of doing a uh, high low melee, just at least force him to guess high low and throws as the options that can present. Flies into thundercloud. So back full screen plus the debuff, but debuff wears off. Kid is now just polluting. This is go my children, control the neutral, go lock down my opponent. Big health lead. Wagner White is still alive. Big count and climb, but Kid just takes that round. Oh, 
Right. Wake up, DP. Well, Wagner White has such a health lead, he can kind of gamble on getting hit by... Oh, uh, well, he can gamble on getting hit by Wake Up DP, but just rotating options like Roll and other ones is still going to make it harder to get a pin on Kid. Unfortunately, no conversion from that uh, gunshot, but this should be the round. Okay, Wagner White is back on the board with another win. The score right now is 7-2. I low-key hope it's not a complete, <laughs> like, clean up the other way around because this is going to go on for a while if that's the case. Stagger pressure with the uh, Persona. Whiffs uh, normal, but Wagner White does not punish and also gets kind of hit for going for the attempt too late. Paralysis debuff. Crazy. I think White Knight might have tried to escape the last second or just straight got clipped. Doing DPs very early. He just didn't even bother holding that. Oh, gets hit by stack of pressure. Wagner down a huge amount of life. Kid will almost surely kill with the next interaction. Yep. Wagner immediately retreating full screen now. Is this a change in strategy? Uh, still decides to get a low flight mix attempt. Getting hit by Kid though, and now getting put into a really bad position. Kid has 50% meter. Now just running strike throw on top of summons. Nice walk back, trying to bait, like, maybe a delayed option from Wagner White. Wagner choosing the time to use gunshot to maybe control space. Kid's just rolling past it. But now uh, grabbing and putting back in the corner does not block that mix-up. Going to take a huge amount of damage and still be in the corner. Or basically in the corner. Uh, well, we have a flight mix-up that can go, like, multiple sides. It might as well. Uh, fortunate drop, but still gets around. In the corner with Gift. Just a way for him to extend his turn. Wagner White blocked most of the kid's pressure up until the, I guess, like double overhead. Two clouds, just a lot of mid, a lot of mids and overheads just kind of throwing out constantly. Wagner White choosing um, a time to contest, that at least pushing out slightly, but still in the corner now. Might as well use the burst there. You are on last round for this game. Catches the roll. Let's see the big cash out. Good chunk of damage. He gets a mix up afterwards. Kid does block it. Does not block the flight cancel overhead afterwards. All right. Wagner having a good stack of meter. Can he convert off this? Unfortunately not, looks like. One more interaction. Oh, but that might be it. Does not have burst. I think, yeah, I think that's it. Kid did not drop it. That is the round. That is the game. Kid is now up 8 to Wagner White's 2. I guess we're showing the power of TOs today. I love that even on this really crazy hot day now, nah, people are still pulling up. Oh, man, that, that, that just cl clipped him. The very back end of that shot just clipped Kid. Uh, whiff, but no punish from Wagner White. Uh, but Flight Cancel just solves all problems. It's fine. Did I mix up? No, I didn't mess it. That's just another mix up. Yo, did that just like fuzzy jump to air block, whatever the option was? But granted, Kid still caught him before a button came out, but... Okay. Summon pressure, 
It gets clipped by the Stagger 5A since other normals. Multiple summons on top of him, which is multiple mix-up his attempts, which is just pressure unending. Kid looks like a little bit more content to play back range, but now it was definitely going in. Wagner White throwing out some full screen options just to slow down Kid. But he's back in, has a meter. Wagner White lost his burst. This is going to kill. Wagner White choosing not to play conservatively. Just figures, I guess he figures he might as well just go for it now. He is down in a pretty bad spot in terms of uh, games, so. The kid running his strike throw offense, jumping to potentially bait certain options while some is still up. Okay, yep, Summon just gave him the assist. Cross up, uh, J, I think JB, I believe. I forgot entirely. Okay. So I do have to check how cross protection works in this game. Is I wonder if it actually is just, hey, if you start the roll and you're just not blocking the right side immediately, it's, it's a wrap. So that's, uh, Kid is up another game. That is nine. All right, this might be the last game of the set. Or not set, this set of games. Wagner White off to a really unfortunate start, getting clipped by Kid. Kid doing summons, running his traditional strike of pressure, glands to hit. Ends pressure early to get a summon. Gets to continue his pressure. Wagner might be trying to jump, might be trying to contest, but none of it's working out. Kid is just consistently able to run his pressure into throw, gets a Chunky conversion from throw. Wagner trying to force a play here. Landed his hits. Unfortunately, drops to confirm. Now, both characters are back to mid-screen space, but neither one is content to control the space. They they want to, like, hunt for blood. Oh. All right. We're on last game, last round in kids' favor. Wagner White classing his damage. It looks like it was. All right. Controlling space more. Even with Summon out, Summon can't really do much from that range. Why, uh, kid trying to jump over some of the mid screen screen control options, but Wagner White controlling the space. Kid tried to take his turn back, but Wagner White landing hits. Drops the super, but hey, it might as well be a reset because. Still landed a hit because you didn't punish me fast enough. Projectile Oki. Gets hit by all out attack. I don't think Kid just didn't confirm. Oh, Wagner just getting clipped by the very last projectile. Some summons on top, clouds right above your head. Yeah, just using his guns to still go, you're not in my face, so I can control that space. Try to. Uh, burst it out. Very close. Kid rolling and using his own burst to put it back in the corner. Did, did. Oh, he's such a nerd. Yeah, take that round. Take that round. Take that round. Get that shit out of here. I, I hope this is a complete run back. I could be here for another two hours. All right, let's see if Weiner can survive the onslaught, but still gets hit by the double overhead. Summons on top of him. I'm not sure if that summon, like, is increased, like, uh, has a hurt box, has increased blocks, or anything like that. It might just be a, if you use some kind of tool, it might get augmented if it hits it, but... Uh, that was a 
dropped route. But doesn't really matter at this point. Wagner still got his damage. Baited the burst. Put himself back in the corner to escape Kid, but unfortunately that looks like it's going to be it because he does not have burst back up. Drops the route, but lands into the J.A. All right, that's it. G, Jeez, I guess. Both of you come over here. Both of you come over here, both of you. Kid, stop laughing. Get over here, you, you animal. Here, sit down. Kid's just laughing like a hyena. Like, you can put on your stuff, bro. Hey, what's up? What's up, everybody? Uh, hello. Kid, stop laughing like a goddamn hyena. No, bro. it's like, not even that. I just say I should have died. <laughs> bro, it's fine. It's fine. All right, so <laughs> any thoughts on the sets you two are playing? <laughs> I'm mostly just answering questions for him. I end up answering as much questions as, he, as I can whenever he asks me. That's that. Yeah, I was watching for a while that, like, after every handful of game, you two would just have converse a bit, probably to kind of get an idea of what to actually do in the matchup. So. Mostly, it was most of the time, I, was just vi I really was just vibing and just trying to see what kind of dis this try stuff. This dude stuff see if he actually can learn anything from it. Yeah, I never fight any Murray's. Cause this so. character, this the character is a lost cause. No one wants to play him. Only no, Envy wants to play him. Yeah, Naked Blackman. That's all, aside from him. That's the only person I barely like to play. I barely play the game. Oh, Buttface. He doesn't play, and he's irrelevant. Oh, that's crazy. You just call people irrelevant on stream, man. That's. Brutal. I mean, it's true. He doesn't really play the game, so it's true. So I'm guessing, Wagner, you have like little familiarity with Marie in terms of like the matchup you play off. Uh, yeah, I never really play her because, like Kid said, no one, no one plays her. No one really plays her, and even then, most of the time you ask him, you have to ask him all the questions. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I was watching as the game was going on. I started noticing that like, Wagner White, you started like kind of fuzzy blocking, recognizing certain like resets Kid would go for. Yeah. Like, when he'd be done with his pressure, he might do an like, air dash back or like try doing a block yep. shoot jump cancel midway to like contest certain things. You were catching on to it a bit, but then towards the later half of the game, maybe just from fatigue, I feel like he got a little bit more antsy. No, because like uh, he ran up and did 2A, 2A, so when I, he caught my fuzzy jump. Yeah. Okay, He's so kind so of fuzzy input, yeah. Okay, so kids started recognizing that and trying yeah. to start testing on his own. Because okay. I aired through him a couple of times. Oh, that was kind of on reaction, not really. Um, Most of the other times, too, I saw you started doing fuzzy jumps. I set clouds on top of you and just kept jump counting until you tried to do it. Because I want you to see what happens if you fuzzy block Marie with clouds. Yeah, I did that once, and you, like, super jumped, and I got hit by a cloud. Yep, that's, what you, that's one of the reasons why you don't want to do that as much against her. She's one of the few characters you could get away doing it if she pressure resets without either a cloud present, or she keeps staggering her lows, since she has, like, so many low, mids and lows where you can't fight to jump it, compared yeah. to other characters where you can. I also, like, uh, my IV got hit a couple times because I didn't do it properly. Yeah, she's... I try to IV lows is funny. <laughs> It's, yeah, really, it's actually one of the hardest things. Even I have a hard time I being lows. I have a quick question. How does cross and protection work in Persona? Because I've noticed a couple times you did your projectile Oki Super uh, and it would still roll on no, the side. No, so it's... Best way to put it is like sometimes... It goes, so the way the game forces... The game forces you to block the direction of your fate, whatever you get, you're blocking, right? It's similar to how... I want to say it's similar to how lo not lo like Blaze Blue is cross up protection. I can't really explain this is another game to compare it. So, so basically, think of it as like this: you know, where you block whenever you block the first hit, you block that direction, right? Yes. So the way the game recognizes it, it recognizes wherever the character is at. Whenever you block, it treats it like you block in the wrong direction. So generally, how you think cross up break works? Oh, yeah. so so the direction is based on the character who set up the projectile. Based on no, it's based on where the character is at. So whenever the, the the opponent is at and they're facing another direction, it creeps the game like you're blocking that direction, but not really blocking that direction. I think it has some protection though, because I it had there is cross of protection, but the game, but Marie is, but there's a lot of ways to break it. And yeah. I just gotta break with a roll. Okay. Because Marie can break it because since she has ways to break cross of protection often. Yeah, I think you messed it up a couple times. No, I did. Cause I can mess up the timing. Yeah. No, cause sometimes I, I either do it too late since you have to I have to time it with the shiny arrows. So as soon as if I have D, it's easier to time it. But with C and SP, it's harder. Oh. So D makes it really easy, making one of the easiest things to break cross the protection. Like I just run fast, you roll, and it, I guess like you try to block arrows, but you get hit by it because you block you block in the wrong direction. All right, yeah. so. That was our first attempt at Lunar Face. Uh, do you guys have any like f word, final words, anything like that? 
Not really. Uh, hopefully cause... there's more people next time. <laughs> yeah, because to be fair, I was I didn't really want to do it. I was going to play Reese for the time first at 10, but I said, you know, I just, you wanted to play, you said Marie, so sure. I just went. Yeah. Risa is kind of common online for some reason. She's one of the because she's like a she's design wise and everyone likes the character. It's like the common. She's like one of the most common characters you see. The you see. Yeah, I don't really know why though. She's not like very scary. No, I mean her, that, that implies people play the characters just for functionality. No, no so just, the thing is she she technically is scary, but only in the corner. Oh. Like when she gets you on Oki in the corner, that's when she becomes actually scary because her Oki becomes even even though it loses the role. You still have to block it. Yeah. Because she has ways to... She has... She could just meet you for trying to roll out her Okie. All right. Well, that has been um, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax at Lunar Phase 35. And then we are going to have Melty Blood, Actress Gang, Current Code, Top 4 up next on stream. We will see you all in a bit. Just stay tuned. Yeah. Uh, see ya. All right. Bye-bye.